Hey, yo, what's up guys? So today I'm teaching you a 4 ace trick that fools literally everybody who sees it. Let's get into it. So for this, let's just imagine that we have a volunteer that's helping us out for this trick, all right? So what we'll do is get the pack a shuffle and, and uh, I'll take out a prediction, uh, something that feels right, all right? So maybe this one, yep, that one feels right. I'll put it right there, all right? So what we're gonna have you do is as I shuffle cards like this, just say stop any time, it'll be right here, and do it one more time. So we have three packets right here and right here is perfect, all right? So what we're gonna do is uh, take any pile that you want and uh, spread through it and take out any card you want and put it face up on top of the packet, all right? So they do that. They put that card there, and these can really be any any cards at all. It doesn't matter what these cards are, just whatever feels right to them at the time, all right? So. Uh, one more time for this one, and they put one card face up on each pile. So, the deck was shuffled, and then you could have said stop anywhere that I shuffled. You could have chosen any packet, you could have put any card face up on top of each pile. So what we'll do here is since you chose a 10, we'll actually count 10 cards like this, all right? So that's, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, all right? So neatness matters. We'll square that up like that. So same thing with Jack. We'll just spell the word Jack, all right? So that's J-A-C-K, just like that. All right, so one more time, we have a 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, all right? So remember, the deck was shuffled. I took out one prediction. It just felt, it just felt right to me. I can't explain it, it just, it just did, all right? So uh, what I took out was actually the Ace of Spades. Now remember, Three times you said stop, and you could have chosen any card from each pile, and that and that many cards were dealt. So, for the first time, let's see how this all turned out. Uh, over here we have ooh, they, we have an ace. That's kind of strange, right? Maybe over here we have wow, wow, another ace. Um, maybe over here we have uh, oh, another ace. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so this whole thing is a bluff, and it's actually almost self-working besides a slip shuffle. All right, so we're gonna do. Just take the aces, excuse me, and take the aces and put them on top of the deck, and that's the only setup there is. Now what you'll do is you'll take the deck and uh, you'll give it an overhand shuffle, a legitimate one, all right? So you'll chop off about half the deck and just really give it a shuffle, all right? So that what that all that does is put the aces in the middle of the deck, so it looks a little bit more casual than just cutting the deck, all right? So now what you'll do is you'll turn the deck face up, face it toward yourself, and you will just take out an ace, all right? So this is what they're looking at and this is this will be exposed to you this is what you're actually doing all right so spread through and you want to as soon as you get to the aces you spread through all the way to the last one and then put it down like this so that last ace is going face on, on the table now cut the deck so the rest of the aces go back on top as you turn the deck face down now what you'll do is you'll do two slip shuffles and have them say stop uh, two times, all right? So you'll make three piles by doing that, all right? So uh, start a face up overhand shuffle. So you'll chop off about maybe, I don't know, five five or so cards and then slip that top card as you do that. Just like this is exposed view. Do that slip like this as you start the shuffle. So you ask them, hey, just as I do this, just say stop any time. And they say stop right here and turn that packet face down. That means now that you have an ace on top of this packet. And you'll do that one more time so you'll have an ace on top of each packet, all right? So once again, just say stop any time. They do here. So it looks like everything's random, but those slip shuffles um, made it to where it, there's an ace on each packet. So here's where that bluff comes into play and it says actually really cool. So you can have them say, hey, pick up any pile you want. And by giving them, this this doesn't matter in the long run, but ha having them pick up any pile is just another free choice in the matter and they'll think it back. I, I, I did pick up any pile I wanted to, even though it doesn't matter at all for the routine, all right? So as many free choices you can give somebody, the better. All right, so anyway, they pick up any pile they want to. Say, so, uh, spread through and take out any card you want and then put it face up on top of the packet. So they do that and it really doesn't matter at all. So they take a card out, put it face up on top and you, they repeat that for all the other packets. So they do that. Maybe Kofi was another seven. Can we get it? Ah, man, I've been cool. Anyway, so what you'll do is uh, you pick the packets up and what you're gonna do is say, look, since you chose a seven, we'll count seven cards. So what you're gonna do is just take this 
seven or whatever card it is and put it on the bottom of the packet first and then deal down to the table that many cards in this case a seven so that's one two three four five six seven all this does is put the ace on the table so after you've done that put the rest of the cards on top all right same with this there's not actually seven cards uh, maybe so we have a seven that's one two three four five six seven Put it down. Say neatness matters as in you, you want to square them up because if they see something like this where the bottom card never really moves, it's always in frame, then they'll think back and say, well, that was just the bottom card or whatever, right? They might think that. So if you square the packet up, that removes that frame so it might seem more impossible. Anyway, that's just my OCD. <laughs> so you'll take the queen. Put on the bottom, you can spell queen or deal 12, it's up to you. So I'll just spell queen. That's Q-U-E-E-N and put the packet down, square it up, neatness matters. So now you say, look, remember in the beginning, the deck was shuffled, I took out any card and the card that I chose is actually the ace of hearts. Now remember, you could have set stop anywhere and you could have chosen any pile and you could have put any card face up you wanted to. I didn't even touch the cards. So you'll say, look, for the first time, let's see the card that's on this one. Oh, an ace, that's kind of weird. That matches that ace. So let's see Let's see what you have here. Say, oh, another race, that's kind of crazy, right? So can we get a third one? Oh, another race, that's crazy. And this trick is just so fun to do because <laughs> when they see that first ace, I mean, it's a shocker right there, but they'll, they'll sort of make that face like, what the hell, right? And then when they see the second ace, they'll be like, what? And then we do that third one, they're like, wow, how the hell did that just happen? Because everything is still random. The deck was shuffled by you in the beginning. And then they said stop randomly as you were shuffling, right? Then they picked up any power they wanted to, Put any card face up. All these free choices led to the aces, and that's what makes it so strong with all those free choices. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling about theory, and I hope you have a nice uh, whatever day this is because I'm filming all day. All right, guys, so as always, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It means the world to me, and I really hope that you enjoyed uh, your, our time together, and I hope you learned something new. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.